Hey guys, it's me, Krusty, and welcome to Channel Lock Garage. I don't know, my attempt for humor. Anyway, um, it's that day in car people's history, the car people's uh, days, when they get their uh, packages from Rock Auto. So I thought I would do a, uh, what did I get for the car? Very excited about this moment. And of course, I'd like to uh, thank my sponsor, Rock Auto, for allowing me to pay for these uh, parts that I will be using on my car. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get them for free. But anyway, let me get uh, a box opener here. It should work pretty well. No escapey humor today. Anyway, let's see what we got in box number one. Usually uh, the little box is the most fascinating. Ah, interesting. All right, let's keep this paperwork, make sure we, we got everything. So we got in this box two bottles of dot three brake fluid. We also have some assorted bulbs. All right, so we got those. Now I'm imagining a lot of these are brake parts because, oh God, they're heavy. Is this as exciting for you as it is for me? Quiet, quiet, birds. Nice. Right. Well, bubble wrap, I don't remember ordering bubble wrap, but uh, let's see right anyway. More paperwork. And let's see what we got here. We have a 2940R Ravistus rear drum. All right. Get one of those. God, there's two of those. Made in China. Well, you know, I love Rock Auto. The prices are unbelievable. What do we got? Do we have a Mopar this time? Ah, we got a, uh, a Volga. I think that is a Czechoslovakian car. Or maybe it's uh, Russian. I have a series of these on the fridge. Anyway, let's take a look at that real quick. Get in there, get in there. I hope this is working, using two cameras, so I hope the other one is recording. Are you still recording? I hope so. Alright, so let's see, I hope this is a manage drum. Looks pretty good. Alright, so two of those stuff has. I've seen other videos where people open up boxes and they seem to have a lot of likes. So maybe you're one of those people who likes to watch other people open boxes. I don't know if I cut my finger off with the knife. It might be entertaining. Ah, okay. Let's see what we got here. Some more paperwork. Must be stainless steel. Another car magnet. Ah, another Volga. Same car. More plastic air. Then again, don't remember ordering. I know, I used that joke twice. All right, I think these are going to be the front drums. Oh, it's another rear. I guess the other one was a, uh, was a front. Let's see. No, is that a... So far I got a 291R. I guess that's right and left. I have no idea. I didn't think that the drums mattered if they were right or left. Alright, 
so this is a probably a mistake because that's another rear drum but it says a 290 2941R Figure this out. I probably Here's another 2941R. And uh, I don't know. They all seem to look exactly the same. So I don't know what the hell's going on. This is really exciting. And of course, it's carrying on the, the same tradition as. Uh, me ordering more on the pot. Alright, what do we got here? This is a Ray Bestus. Thanks, Aunt Emily. Fits perfect. Ah. Okay. Parking brake cable. The old days, we called these emergency brakes. My other camera quit, so I'm back on this side. Emergency brake cable. The other side, emergency brake cable. Ooh, this one has lots of little boxes in it. We got a uh, Raybestos WC34876, which I think is one of the uh, wheel cylinders. Glorioski, it is a wheel cylinder. Yes, all new brakes for the Dodge Dart. Stopping is very important. Much underrated. it. All right, looks like we have a, a Timken set of uh, front wheel bearings. Yes, I know how to put these in. It's been a long time. Uh, don't know if this is the rear set or the front set, but. Uh, Another one. We also have another Raybestos product. Again, made in China. Hope our brothers in China are doing a good job manufacturing car parts. And oh, this is nice. This is a uh, new spring collection. I think I ordered only two of these because I think. A lot of the springs are in pretty good shape, but uh, they were missing on the one real rear wheel. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe getting ahead of myself here, but uh, a pair of wiper blades. You know, eventually, I'm going to need them. Uh, what I would think is another wheel cylinder. That makes two wheel wheel cylinders. Oh yay! What else? Save that one for last. Centric. I think these are wheel cylinders too. Yep, another wheel cylinder. And another. My best this uh, brake hardware kit. Nothing like uh, new springs. Hey, did spring that on you, bonehead? Get it? Spring. Bone. Foghorn, leghorn. Got to go way back for that one. All right. 
so here is the last piece of paperwork. What, I didn't get another Volga? Where's my, uh, I got two Volgas. I got three, four boxes. We should have another Volga. Sorry to disappoint you. Three Volgas. Three Volgas. All right, the last one, which is very important, is another Ray Bestos product, Ray Bestos. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Ray, Ray, Ray Bestos. Ray Besto. Robusto. Maybe they're Italian. Robusto. Oh, look at this puppy. We have a dual, you see that? A dual master cylinder to replace the uh, single master cylinder. Much safer. One goes to the back. I think it's the, I think it's back and backwards. The, the front goes to the back, the rear goes to the front. I don't know. But anyway, if you should happen to lose Let's just say one of your front brakes in the old style with the uh, single master cylinder, you lose uh, one brake cylinder front, well, and then you'd have no brakes anywhere around. At least with this, if uh, something fails from the rear side, rear end, uh, brake wise, then you still have the fronts to stop the car, and vice versa, or vice versa. So, real happy about this. I also had to order a bunch of uh, uh, new brake lines, which is probably a good thing anyway, since they're like 50 year old brake lines. But uh, you need a kit, uh, which I got, which should be coming from another one of my sponsors that I paid to let me buy things from them, uh, inline tubes. Uh, we'll be sending um, all new brake, brake lines for the whole thing and an emergency brake cable uh, that I was missing from the car. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the box opening. Um, I'm off to kill zombies after this. So I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I should be back pretty soon with some new videos. Uh, we'll try to figure out the uh, radiator issue. Um, if you'll see part of that in this video where I've got a new aluminum radiator and it did not fit again. So I'm batting 0 for 2 for the radiators. Uh, I have a couple calls out to some people waiting to hear back, uh, see about getting a proper radiator that will fit my car, where I don't have to adapt either the car, the radiator, or the fan. And um, that's it. Need a shave. See ya. Okay, greetings everyone. Uh, Little chrome on the front tire here. Anyway, we're going to uh, be talking radiators today. Let me fly back here. We got a, a new Champion radiator, and um, going to be. Uh, I think we have may probably have some problems with some fan clearance. If you can see in here, so we're going to be uh, working that out hopefully. But anyway. Uh, I'd like to uh, send out a, a special thank you uh, to Champion Cooling Systems, Champion ra Radiators, and also to uh, Rock Auto, um, who supplied the uh, channel with uh, a radiator and some assorted parts. And uh, it's an amazing service with uh, these two companies. Um, they send you product, and all you have to do is send them payment. So, yeah. I paid for it, but what the heck. Hey, I got a fresh new haircut too. Anyway, we'll uh, be back in a little bit. Okay, so these uh, Champion radiators are beautiful. They do a real, real nice job. Looks to be a real solid unit. But this is supposed to be for a 66 Dodge Dart. And I don't know what planet Dodge Dart they are talking about, but it does not fit. Uh, it's going to have to be adapted. Um, with the original mounting holes, there's no way that this thing shows up. And I even called them. So, you know, look what $208 buys you. It's a mismatched radiator that looks like we're going to have to try to make work in here. Hopefully it will. Uh, let's 
see how much of this you can see when I try to struggle. Uh, to put this radiator in here. Uh, can you see this at all? I'm not sure, but let's uh, give this a whirl. The first thing is I have to take the fan shroud off. Or not the shroud, I'm sorry. The stock car doesn't have a shroud. Uh, but the uh, the, sh the fan itself. So these top holes look like they might somehow work. There's no way the bottom holes are going to fit. I'm going to have to set up some my own holes here. And the uh, the bracket is totally off. So I need this to be, um, This makes me believe that it's pretty shitty uh, manufacturing. Pardon my French. Again. Uh, but these these brackets do not fit. And uh, I'll bring this around here. What's happening here is that there's a, a huge gap in the front where this mounting bracket, I think, should have been moved more forward. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but. Um, and that's where I'm supposed to put the fan. There's no way in hell that fan's going on here, even without. Even without the uh, even without the spacer on there, so I'm going to try to send this thing back. Another setback in a series of setbacks.